Good morning, 11.15 a.m. This is the second hour of the show. So if you just join me, you're just in time for you to actually find out a little bit more when it comes to endometriosis and the relationship with fertility. So we've got the expert right here. Allow me to introduce. Uh, he is a fam familiar face and a familiar voice here at Tracks FM, Dr. T. Sui Ping, the Metro IVF Fertility Specialist. Thanks for being here again, doctor. Thank you. Good How morning. are you? How are I'm you? Fine. <laughs> All right. So let's jump straight into the topic, shall we, doctor? Um, so apparently, uh, what's heard here is endometriosis can affect a woman, a woman's daily life as well as her family. So, do you can you care? You know, going into details when it comes to this. In what way can it affect a family per se? Well, endometriosis. Mm. Uh, the main symptom of endometriosis when severe, mm -hmm. it causes uh, severe uh, tummy pain for the woman. And this pain usually occur during the menstrual period mm -hmm. and get worse as the menses progress. Okay. And often they will seek uh, medication. Sometimes they seek medical leave and uh, have to see doctor often mm. and it will affect their daily work. Right. Yes. It sounds like a very normal, I mean, a normal sensation usually when a woman gets her menses. So how do we know if it's severe or it's just the same old oh yes issue yeah you know? yeah you are you are very uh, right you know? uh woman during menstruation they have this uh, pain during mm -hmm. menses and yeah. we call it the uh, primary dysmenorrhea that means pain that is not related to illness mm. and typically the picture that a woman will give is uh, one day before menses she find that tummy is bloated and uncomfortable the story of my life oh yeah <laughs> and then that's because the blood is gushing into the pelvis okay and when the menses come she huh. feel uh, all this uh, bloatedness yeah. and discomfort disappear mm. yeah mm -hmm. then uh, when menses start she have a second pain okay. a bit of crampy pain yeah okay. that's because the uterus is contracting tries to squeeze out the blood yes and when the blood clot come out she feel relief mm -mm. and second day third day you disappear off yes but the pain of endometriosis is different okay. it start when the menses start that means it don't occur before the menses okay and because in endometriosis the blood will flow in the pelvic cavity and it will touch on the organs the ovary the uterus and the pain will get worse and oh, worse dear. and worse during the menses and it lasts as long as the menses Oh yeah. wow! Uh, that's why when they take medication, it may not even relieve, and this is called secondary dysmenorrhea or a uh, pain of the menses that is with association with endometriosis. Mm. Okay, so that's the difference right there. That's right. So yeah. as for normal menses, it will eventually uh, fade away as as you know as the blood flows out. But uh, in comparison to endometriosis, the pain is just. You know, it's just there throughout the depressive yes. period. Yeah, it get worse and not relieved by medication sometimes. I see. So if you're hearing this and you are actually checking on the list and you are going through this, you might want to listen through. Um, so, doctor, who are at risk for uh, of uh, endometriosis? Is it uh, a certain age? Um, a certain group perhaps who or yeah. is it everybody? Yeah. As long as you're men uh, menstruating, you mm. have a chance or you may have endometriosis. I see. And it's more occur, uh, occurring in those where there are family history. Example, your mother having mm -hmm. endometriosis or sister having endometriosis. Then you have six times four compared with uh, ordinary people. Okay. And people who have infertility, mm. that means they never have baby before. Uh, so they are also at risk of endometriosis. Okay. And women with uh, heavy menses who start their menarche early, who are periods are very long mm -mm. and the cycle are short. Uh, basically, they have more menstrual flow and they have more opportunity of endometriosis developing inside the pelvis. I see. So apart from genetics and, you know, uh, it, it occurred in your family uh, cycle, uh, what are the possible causes for this? Any well, other? yeah, the actual cause is actually not be determined, mm -mm. but the theory is they think that the menstrual blood uh, that flow downward, mm -mm. yeah, uh, through the uh, cervix mm -mm. and through the vagina. Yeah. Now some of it flow backward. They reverse flow. Oh God. Ah, uh, so the flow to the tubes and into the ovary, <laughs> and when this blood uh, touches on the ovary uh -huh. or the uh, bladder or the uh, this intestine, what happen? There is blood cells, mm. and there is also some endometriotic tissue that means some of the cells of the endometrium is also there i see and some of this survive and this implant on the surface mm -mm. of the internal organ and they grow uh, and so oh. this same tissue will also respond to the hormonal cycle of the woman so in other words 
every month when the hormone in the body of the woman change then the menstruation will occur they also menstruate inside the pelvis or tummy oh my gosh yeah. it's serious oh yes so clearly it will affect pregnancy right Ah uh, yeah. yeah, because the pain of it will cause her to be so severe. Uh -uh. Uh, sometimes they also avoid sexual intercourse. Oh okay. Mm. And then if this uh, uh what call this uh, endometriotic blood mm -mm. uh stay there, what happened? You cause uh, addition. Mm. That means the organ was stuck together, and it can also cause a blockage of the tube. Okay. Yeah, and if it involved in the ovary, it can cause some damage to the ovarian tissue. Okay. So the egg production also affected. I'm cringing all the way just listening to this. Uh, okay, so with all this being said, um, though, say despite uh, a woman's uh, you know hormonal cycle, can she actually get pregnant when she's diagnosed with endometriosis, doctor? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, in fact, study shows that a woman with endometriosis, sixty percent of them can still get pregnant naturally. Okay. Yeah, and the other forty percent will have difficulty in getting pregnant. Okay. Yeah. So this woman will need assistance. Mm. And some of them may need what called the advanced method for further treatment like IVF. Okay. Yeah. So if the disease were to get uh, severe, which will uh, progress along the years, mm -mm. then there are more uh, likelihood of having uh, infertility. That means mm. difficulty in getting pregnant. I see. So say even say say this this woman were to uh, require uh, acquire medical intervention, uh, any fertility treatments, or get pregnant naturally. Can she sustain a pregnancy having this? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if once she get pregnant, then the cause of a pregnancy will not be affected by endometriosis. I see. In fact, if she get pregnant, uh -uh. the endometriosis uh, condition they have will dissolve. It oh. disappears. So get pregnant, ladies. <laughs> That's right. Get pregnant if you have endometriosis. Yeah. Right. So so that aside, um, so if, if a woman knows and she, she is well aware that she's going through uh, and she's having endometriosis, can she have the option of not having um, a medical intervention, any medications? Can it dissolve on its own as well if she's not getting pregnant? Is there such thing? Yes. Um, if the woman has endometriosis and is mild, 30% mm -hmm. uh, of them may resolve. Yeah, but those that are moderate or severe uh, usually persist on. And they will disappear uh, when she gets pregnant or see menopause. Okay. Uh, so if you want to uh, have a spontaneous uh, a resolve, a resolution of this endometriosis, wait until menopause. Okay. Uh, but nobody wants to wait. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's such a long way to go. That's why right. Why do you do that to yourself, isn't it? So what are the courses of treatment for uh, endometriosis? Well, uh, as I said, uh -uh. Uh, get pregnant mm -mm. and your endometriosis will resolve. Okay. Yeah. So that's why when you come to medical treatment, which is usually the first choice the doctor, your doctor will choose for you, uh, is to create a pseudo-pregnancy. Pseudo-pregnancy? Yes, that means a state that uh, make you like pregnancy, yeah. Uh, then the other, the other uh, mode of treatment is called pseudomenopause. Oh wow! Uh, uh, so pseudomenopause is the preferred treatment now. Okay. What happened is a woman will be given injection uh, once a month mm. for about four to six months, mm -hmm. and this hormone uh, is actually a GnRH agonist. Well, it is actually a drug that go to the brain and stop the brain from uh, stimulating the ovary uh, uh, to have this uh, regular menstrual cycle. Okay. And it will empty all the hormone. It's just a woman who has gone through menopause. I see. So she will have temporary menopause for about four to six months. Okay. Yes. And during this uh, four to six months, the endometrial tissue will regress mm. or sometimes disappear completely. Are those the only uh, form of treatments? Yes, this is the the, uh, the medical treatment which okay. is uh, now uh, best accepted. I see. Well, if you fail, then you may consider doing laparoscopy, uh, uh, where they use is? laser and diatomy. This just uh, clear up the endometriosis. I see. Yeah. So through uh, the the first treatment that you've mentioned, uh, the form of uh, injection to 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 trick the body to think that you are either going through pregnancy or menopause, would that have would it actually um, incur any 
uh, side effects perhaps to uh, the woman in the yeah. long run? Yeah, there will be side effects during mm. the course of treatment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, example, if you are going through this uh, pseudo menopause uh, treatment, uh -huh. what happens? You have hot flushes, la, mm. you feel a touchy, la, bone ache. But don't worry, once the four months, the six months over, your menses resume, you're back to normal. I see. Mm. Very interesting stuff. So, in case you were wondering, if you just joined us, uh, we are talking about endometriosis and the relationship with fertility and how can we actually combat and understand this a little bit better. So let's take a short break, doctor, to allow our listeners to digest and think if they actually have it or not. And in case uh, you're wondering, ladies and gentlemen, I am speaking to Dr. T. Sweet Ping. He is the fertility specialist at Metro IVF. This is Trex FM. 11.30 a.m. Welcome back to the second part of the interview. I am still with Dr. T. Sweet Ping, Metro IVF fertility specialist. And we've got a, uh, a comment here on Facebook. Uh, doctor, he says that Dr. T. Sweet Ping has magic hands. I'll let you know what is the um, you know the, the reply that we're going to get from him. <laughs> Anyways, we're talking wow. about uh, endometriosis and the relationship with fertility. Now, say a woman, a lady, um, is is suspicious that she might have it. So, if she were to consult you, what can she expect from the diagnosis, perhaps, or the way that you're going to be? Um, what can she expect, pretty much, when she tells you that she might have this? Uh, what will you? check how will you do it oh mm. if a patient will come and see me and she thinks that she has endometriosis mm. the first thing is i want to uh, investigate or ask her on the history okay her medical history uh ask her to describe the menstrual pain that she have because basically endometriosis is pain during menses mm -mm. now from the story of the menstrual pain, uh, we can determine whether it is uh, uh, her normal menses or it could be uh, endometriosis. Right. In endometriosis, the pain will start after the menses has started. Mm. That means you'll get worse on the second day of menses and until the end of the menses. This is because the blood uh, that is uh, accumulated from the endometriosis mm -mm. Uh, will get more and more in the pelvis. Yeah. yeah. And if she were to have this uh, pain for uh, let's say uh, many years as years go by the pain will also occur in between menses oh, because dear. by that time the endometriosis uh, bleeding or the blood would have caused distortion of the anatomy of the pelvis and caused a lot of things stuck together and the pain will persist on uh, will it actually disrupt the, the flow of the menses uh, if she were to have if this person were to have endometriosis would she actually have a flow to begin with during her menses oh yes the menstrual flow will be uh, as uh, uh, uh yes occurring as normal okay uh, it's just that the tissue the mm -hmm. endometrial tissue that is in the uh let's say in the ovary on the tube and uh, or the uterus they also bleed mm. at the same time when the uh she's having the menses the menstrual flow comes downward yeah uh, so this blood will cause her the the pain I see. and then what happened is i'll do an examination for her I'll check, uh, do a vaginal examination. Sometimes uh, we can see some bluish spot at the upper part of the vagina, indicating oh. that uh, endometriotic tissue is present in the upper part of the vagina. I see. Yes. And then we examine the pelvis. Uh -uh. Yeah. And if she uh, have this, uh, 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 what we call endometriosis for a long time, she will, she will develop this endometriotic cyst. Mm. And we can feel it. Yeah. And then we can do a scan. What is it, a lump? Yeah, it is a C, sometimes 2 cm, 4 cm, oh, or 5 cm size. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's painful when we touch it. Again, I'm cringing when I'm listening to this. <laughs> and lastly, I'll we'll do a scan for her. <laughs> right. And the scan uh, usually will not uh, pick up any endometriosis that is small. Okay. But if it is big, then uh, you can see it as a, a swelling mm -mm. or you can see it as a cyst. Oh. Yeah. And lastly, if I want to confirm it, mm -mm. if I'm still not certain, mm -mm. then I'll do a laparoscopy. I see. Mm. Um, what is the youngest patient that you've ever encountered having endometriosis, doctor? A teenager, is there such thing or it only happen happens to adult women? Yeah, it can occur at any age mm -mm. Uh, when she starts to have menses. Uh, until uh, menopause. Oh, poor thing. Yeah. So if she have congenital abnormalities of the uh, female uh, tract, mm -mm. Uh, then she would have uh, endometriosis at an earlier age. I see. Yeah, sometimes we have it at even before uh, 20 years of age. Example, uh, a lady with imperforated hymen. 
Okay. Uh, what happened is the menstrual flow do not come downward mm -mm. and it stays stuck in the vagina. Mm. And because of back pressure, when she next have a menses, there is reversal of flow. Okay. Yeah, so she have uh, this endometriosis at a younger age group. I can imagine the pain that's going down like... <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, jokes aside, doctor, um, how can endometriosis actually um, uh, interfere with someone being fertile? In what way can it cause infertility? Uh, maybe you can you know, highlight a little bit more on that again. Yes. Mm. Well, it can affect uh, fertility by one. Uh, this uh, endometriosis can create a kinking of the tube because the tube, instead of being was, was smooth flowing, mm -mm. Uh, yeah, it is kink. So it blocks the tube. Yeah and the blood clot also can block the tube i see yeah and if this endometriosis affect the ovary then you damage some of the ovary uh, ovary tissue I and see. the egg reserve drop yeah and if the location of the endometriosis is just behind the uterus mm. so when she has sexual intercourse she will have severe pain I see. and i've seen cases where sometimes the pain is so severe she just totally do not want to have sexual intercourse i see yeah and of course uh, with this endometriosis uh, 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 continuing mm. then there will be other uh, what call uh, uh, organs that will be damaged inside there mm -mm. and that will all together make it uh, her more difficult to get pregnant i see so despite uh, being pregnant actually helps you uh, to to reduce or to eliminate endometriosis but it's not as easy as it is you have to actually identify and treat endometriosis in order to be fertile and have no issues getting pregnant that's right right so um with that being said doctor how can you actually assi assist women diagnosed having endometriosis to get pregnant faster is there such thing can she speed up the pregnancy when someone is actually going through endometriosis yes mm. because we cannot assume that because her endometriosis uh the reason why she cannot get pregnant is mm -hmm. endometriosis Mm. Yeah, because sixty percent of women with endometriosis can get pregnant. Yes. So these people who cannot get pregnant, uh, I have to investigate mm. to find out their other factors or not. Okay. Example, whether there's a sperm factor or not. Oh, of uh, course. Yeah. So sometimes it could be a sperm factor. Mm -mm. So if you can identify other causes of infertility, we treat the cause, and she get pregnant and the endometriosis will resolve during pregnancy mm, okay so uh, there will be cases where uh, with endometriosis where we may not be able to get her pregnant naturally example tube are blocked yes yeah you know, example her ovary reserve is going down mm. example the sperm quality is very very bad then she may require assisted uh, fertility treatment like uh, ivf of course so with that also um say a woman who has got uh, an episode of uh, endometriosis and went through treatment and was resolved is there any possibility of it coming back oh yes mm. uh, because once the treatment is over uh, she starts to menstruate again yeah yeah when she menstruate if there's some residual endometriotic tissue in the pelvis mm. or in the tummy then this tissue will menstruate again oh as i said menstruate in the outside I see. and then the disease will come back so it's strongly advised that women with endometriosis after treatment get pregnant as soon as possible yeah. <laughs> i see if you fail to well after three months seek a fertility doctor okay so regardless whatever it, whatever it is uh just consult a doctor and obviously clearly uh if someone were to meet you dr t you'll be able to you know advise the next course of action with or without pregnancy pre or post pregnancy isn't it mm. so um now i would like to know as well uh is there any other complications or difficulties that a woman may have uh, to face once she is diagnosed with endometriosis any other perhaps um apart from infertility or the possibility would it actually affect her her health in general uh, yes endometriosis mm -hmm. can affect other organs sometimes endometriosis can appear in the bladder then she have blood in the urine oh dear yeah or pain when she passed urine okay uh, sometimes it can involve the bowel mm. or the uh, rectum so she may have pain when she passed motion oh wow or bleeding so this is a more of an advanced stage or yeah just, uh. yeah there's uh, uh what I call uh, gone to other organs than the normal uh, uh pelvis yeah. mm. right Okay, so I guess we've covered pretty much everything uh, when it comes to this and why it is really important to get 
yourself diagnosed, checked, and go through treatment. But is there anything that you'd like to add on when it comes to endometriosis that we have to know? Perhaps uh, uh, anything that you'd like to add, doctor? Mm. Well, endometriosis um, is uh, what I call will make a woman uh, not able to get pregnant mm -hmm. if it's uh, long enough, and at the same time, it will cause a woman to have uh, severe pain and affect her daily life. Yes. Yeah. And so, if a woman, let's say, uh, wa, wa, want to have endometriosis, mm -mm. Uh, it is very important that she should not uh, defer uh, having a family. Because yes. if she were to get pregnant, then the endometriosis will resolve. Mm. Yeah. And um, if you cannot get pregnant, is try to uh, get assistance from the doctor so that you get pregnant early. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's 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 pretty much it. Uh, that we have to know and you know seek for treatment and advice from Doctor T. And I've got a reply here from uh, Miss Harvard. Uh, pretty. I said that uh, I had a miscarriage once and had difficulties to conceive again. Met Doctor T and consulted him for fertility checkup. After his treatment using clomid pills, I have conceived two kids. So for me, Doctor T has magic hands. Aww. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> yes, thank you for that statement. Thank you, Miss Harvard. Pretty and uh, regards to your kids and thank you for sharing with us your thoughts and your your knowledge today dr t once again uh, if you'd like to meet dr t in person he is uh the metro ivf fertility specialist and of course um, before i let you go any short little message that you'd like to share or perhaps a reply to your uh ex-patient perhaps oh yeah uh, thank you <laughs> for Harper. sharing uh, we're happy <laughs> for you yeah in fact if you get pregnant we are also uh, equally share your joy oh as sweet and simple as that thank you so much once again dr mm, t from all you. of us here at tracks of fm and i hope to see you again soon here at tracks of fm thank you thank you very much uh so hope that was beneficial and uh pretty you know, knowledgeable, good thing that we all share today here at Tracks of Fam. Anything that you'd like to inquire, you can just drop us a message on our Facebook Live. Yes, we are live right now on Facebook. It is at Tracks of Fam Official. I'll be back after the news at 12 p.m. This is Tracks of Fam.